All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we're not doing actually anything with functions. Nice hand. Um, basically, what we're going to be working on is looking into solving a system. If you guys remember last class period, we worked on looking at solving uh, system of equations by graphing them. And basically, our, our main mode was on the first one was finding a system of equations where they intersect at a given point. Right? And we wanted to find the value of x and for y. So in this case, you guys can see we have two equations. Now, what I, what I was trying to portray with you in those previous videos was showing a relationship of that plugging in, of the substitution method that we're going to be using. In this first equation, I had x equals 5y. right? Just like when we did f of like negative 3, the value of your input value, x, was equal to negative 3. right? So we substituted in the value of x in for that value, which was negative 3. In this case, I'm saying x is equal to 5y. So that means, same thing, I can substitute in the value 5y instead of x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that value 5y and I'm going to substitute it in for the value of x in my other equation, because x equals 5y. So therefore, I have 3 times 5y minus 2y equals 39. Does everybody see at least what I did? Maybe not so much as far as the understanding of why I'm doing it, but does everybody see at least what I did and how it was similar to the previous problems we, we were working on? Huh? Just plug it in, yeah, because that one is solved for it. Now, yep, so now in this case, um, basically what we're going to be doing is simplify and then solve for the value of y. Harris, if you could sit up, please. 3 times 5y is 15y minus 2y. I'll get to that in a second. Is 39. 15y minus 2y is 13y equals 39. Divide by 13. Divide by 13. y equals 3. Now I've figured out the value of y where my two lines intersect. All right? That is now that is the y value of y. But again, what we're trying to obtain. What we're trying to obtain is the solution point for x and for y. So to be able to do that, I now need to figure out the value of x. So I know the value of y is 3. So then I go back up to my equation, and I say, all right, fine. Let's plug in the value of what y is. And that is 3. Therefore, x equals 15. Now I am able to algebraically determine that the point where these two intersect is going to be 15, 3. All right. So it's very similar to what we were previously 